Hi. Hi, Hello, teacher. teacher. How are you? How are you today? Good. Good. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Good. Teacher I'm glad to everybody. see you guys. How was your day today? I have an excellent date. Good. Wow, that's great. What did you do today? What made it so excellent? Um, I have a great day in my job. Um, I don't have a student. Um, I have good uh, trade with a customer. Oh, okay. And yeah, yeah. And in that, in that moment, I have with my family, my son and my daughter, and my wife. Okay. Uh, my family, in that moment, they have dinner. They had what? They ate dinner. Yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't hear you very well. They eat it. No, they eat it. the dinner. Ah, okay, uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Funny that. Good, good, good. And I, I am happy because um, in that moment I received the class. Good. Okay, excellent. Okay, okay well, I'm glad that you had a good, uh, a good week. Uh, we're in the middle of the week, right? We are in. A Wednesday, so that means that we only have two more days that left of, of the of the week, and then we're free, right? We can have the weekend off, right? Okay, hello, hello, Lenin, hello, Delia, hello, teacher, Ricardo, Lisset, Rebe, how are you? It's good, teacher. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, all right. How how has everybody been doing with the platform? Have you been able to get into the platform? Yes, teacher. Yesterday I reviewed the, the, the platform. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay. Any questions about the platform? Any problems, any exercises that you had problems with? No, it was okay. Okay. Good, good, good. What about the others? Have you been able to get into the platform? I know that we were having problems yesterday. Um, so is everything okay today? I don't have problem with the platform. I finished the second stage of second. Sorry, what did, what yeah. did you finish all of it? No, no, I don't have, I don't have problem. I oh. have about uh, those problems for Okay. Okay, good, good. So you, you already worked on section one? You finished section one? Yes, I finished the section one too. Excellent. Okay, very good. Okay. All right, excellent. Uh, Delia, what about you? Are you finished section one? Are you in the middle? Are you beginning? What? I'm sorry, teacher. I have no working in the platform. You haven't worked? Oh, I will know. Okay. All right. But are you going to be working on the platform this weekend? Yes, next week. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Please, if you could do that, uh, because we don't want you to fall behind. Remember, the perp, like the whole idea with this course is for you to uh, be able to work on the platform and get a minimum of 80%, right? So, that means that for you to reach that, you're gonna be going, working on it little by little every day, right? Okay, so Danny, if you can work on it on this weekend, that would be wonderful. Okay? All right, good, good. Okay, and, okay. Um, oh, we also have Gerardo. How are you, Gerardo? Hi, teacher, I'm fine, and you? Good, good, I'm pretty good, yes. How are you doing in the platform, Gerardo? Uh, today I didn't work, teacher, but yesterday I I worked in the platform to section one. Ah, excellent. So you finished section one? Yeah, but I have a problem with the uh, section 1.9. Oh, okay. What problem do you have? 
uh, with the wait. Uh, I think answer about Paraguay. Uh, don't don't accept the answer. Sorry, but but I, but I have problem with the with the paragraph two in the section one. I think Gerardo uh, talked about that same uh, point. Yeah, have problem with the simple present passive teacher. The simple present passive. Yeah. Okay, the simple present passive is just exactly what the word says. It's in the in the present. Okay. So that what it means is that instead of instead of having the verb to be in uh, the past who was or were, you would have it in the present. So you would be using instead what? What's the present of the verb to be? What is the present of the verb to be? Uh, the present? Uh-huh. Uh, is an R. Exactly. Is R or M, right? Um, in some cases. So yeah. that's exactly what you would do. It's exactly the same, exactly what we have been looking at. The only difference would be then that we would be using the verb to be, okay? I'm sorry, the verb to be in the, in the, okay. in the present. Okay, so what I'll okay. do... Yeah, but in my case, I tried to, to write uh, the answer in many forms, but I don't know what, what happened. I don't know if the platform is it's bad or I don't know. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Could you tell me exactly what is the, the, um, the exercise so I can look at it? And the exercise is the, the section 1.9. Okay, section 1.19, 1 .1, what exercise? Uh, for example, the first is uh, complete the sentences using the simple present passive form of the very brackets. Mm -hmm. And the first one is many crops and parentheses is grow in Taiwan. So many what? And I tried uh, many crops. Uh huh. In parentheses, that uh, the the word is grow, grew. Uh -huh. In Taiwan, and I tried to to write, for example, many crops are growing, growing in Taiwan. Okay, now let's let's um let's actually work with that exercise. Okay, I'm gonna actually write it to you uh, in the whiteboard here. Okay. Okay. So you said me. Eh, sorry, what was the original sentence? Uh, the original oh. sentence: many crops. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, but the first is many. Oh, sorry, many, sorry. No, my. Yeah. Okay, all right, there you go. So that, that's the original sentence, right? Yeah, is that right? Yes. Okay, all right, good. Um, so many, many crops mm -mm, in Taiwan. So basically the only thing, like I said, first of all, well, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta put, well, okay. Now let, let's start with the first part, the verb to be, okay? So if it says that it has to be in the present passive, it means that we're gonna be using the verb to be yeah. in the present. So what is the verb to be in the present with many crops? Uh, are. Good, exactly. So it would be the word, oh, actually. Um,
So in this case, it would be the word R, right? Because uh, crops is plural, okay? So that's why we're gonna be using R, not is, and not am, am because it's not, the, it's not the subject I, okay? And then after the, the verb to be, what do we use after the verb to be? Uh, the past participle. Exactly. Okay, good. So we use the past participle. Now the question, the, the big question here is, what is the past participle of grow? Uh, grow? Grow? I don't know. What's the past participle of grow? Anybody? 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 Grow. Yes, grow. Good. Grown. The past participle grow would be grown. 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 Okay. So the, then the sentence would say, "Many crops are grown in Taiwan." Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Yes. Um, like I said, this is going to be, this is for the present passive. Okay. We learned yesterday about the past passive, uh, which is using was or were, but if it's the present passive that we're going to be using are, okay, or is or am. In some cases, although it's not very common to say uh, um, am, but it is, it is possible. Okay. Um, so um, now, so basically now, if, if, if I was going to change this, instead of saying many crops, let's say that I'm going to change it to, um, my family crop, okay? I'm going to say my family crop. Okay. Uh, so now in this case, because uh, the subject has changed, I'm going to have to also change the verb to be. Okay. So okay. in this case, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? If it says my family crop, what am I going to say now? Class, what do you think? Crop. So my family crop is singular, right? Before it was many crops, it's plural. That's why we used R. But now it says my family crop. Yeah, we have to, to change the, the verb B. Okay, good. We have to change the verb be exactly. That's the only thing that changes. Everything else is going to continue being the same. So in this case, what do we change the verb to be? How do we change it? Is. Is. Good. Is. Yeah. Exactly. This time we're going to be using the word is. Okay, so my family crop is grown in Taiwan. Yeah. Now, let's say that my family had before a family crop, right? Before, but now we don't have it anymore. So that was in the past. Then how would I change it? If this was in the past. Imagine this is in the past. How would it change? Was. Exactly. Very good. So now the verb to be would be changed to the past. What's the past of is? The past of is is was. So now we're going to say my family crop was grown in Taiwan. Okay. Okay. Following? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. And the same thing happens yeah. if, it, if we have the original sentence which the original sentence was um, many crops. 
in that case, again, we're gonna have to change it, right? Because uh, many crops would be plural. So in that case, if we're talking about um, that in the past, um, the, the crops, this happened in the past, then we would say many crops were. Exactly, there you go, were. Oops. Yeah, many crops were grown in Taiwan, okay? So basically the only thing that changes is the verb to be. Everything like yes. grown is gonna be staying the same, independent if it's in the present or in the past, it's always gonna be grown, okay? Okay, teacher. Yeah, that makes sense for everybody? Okay. okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah teacher. All right, perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna be um, we're gonna be working a little bit on um, on the uh, using this. We're gonna be actually um, trying to uh, trying to to make sentences. Okay, so right now I'm going to write some sentences right here on the whiteboard and. Um, So right now, I want you to think about your most valuable possession, okay? But when I say your most valuable possession, I'm not necessarily talking about something that, um, that costs a lot of money. Sometimes your most valuable possession is something that doesn't cost a lot of money. Sometimes it's something that, um, you know, they, uh, you know, maybe it's something that's valuable because it's sentimentally valuable to you, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so I want you to think about something that's like valuable, your most valuable possession, okay? And um, like I said, it can be all, it, it can be something that, that costs a lot of money, but not necessarily, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to complete these sentences about your valuable possession. was made like in one it was made in Chinese it was given to you okay so here are my sentences four sentences so it was made in okay when I say it was made in I'm talking about um what come like what country it was made in right so to give you an example, um, I don't know, think about your most valuable possession. Uh, let's imagine that it's, um, I don't know, a, a, a cell phone, okay? Let's say that it was a cell, it's a cell phone. And your cell phone is, a, it's a Huawei, let's say, okay? Then where where is the country that it's made in? China. Exactly. So you say it was made in China. Okay. And then yeah. it said it was made by. 
over here you're going to use you're going to say the company that made it or the person that made it because maybe it was somebody uh that you know that made that possession right so you can say it was made by in, in the case of a cell phone it would be it was made by huawei chinese <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly it was made by the chinese yeah that that could work too <laughs> okay all right um or if it could be for example maybe somebody in your like it was a friend that made it for you you, you could say for example it was made by my best friend or it was made by my mother etc cetera, etc cetera. okay so you're going to tell me who made the 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 possession your your most valuable possession then it says here it was given to me by Okay, so maybe it was a gift. So maybe somebody gave you it. Um, so you can say, for example, it was given to me by my sister, or it was given to given to me by my boyfriend. So it means that this is the person that gave you that possession. Okay, or maybe somebody didn't give it to you. Maybe you bought it, right? Um, so um, that's why I put here slash. It was bought in. And then you would say either the, the place that you bought it, like a, like the country, maybe maybe um, was a a, um, a souvenir or something that you bought in, in another country. Or you can say like the place, like the store that you bought it, right? Okay. And it is made of, this one is the material, okay? So it is made of plastic, it's made of metal, it's made of wood, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I want you right now to complete uh, these sentences to make it true for, for your, your, your possession. Okay, so I'll, I'll give you just a few minutes, maybe, I don't know, two or three minutes to finish that off. By the way, um, in the meantime, uh, if there's anybody having problems with the, like, the platform or any of your, um, your uh, your links from your emails, you can let me know right now so I can help you guys with that. So basically what you're gonna be doing is um, writing or better say completing these sentences about your most valuable possession, okay? So think about your most valuable possession. It could be anything. Um, it could be um, something that it's cost a lot of money or it's simply, made, it's simply valuable to you because it's like, special, it has a special meaning for you, it has a sentimental value, anything that you consider for you to be um, your most 
valuable possession. Okay. And when I say possession, I'm not talking about people. Okay. So don't, don't think about people. I, I, I literally mean like an object, right? So like I said, it could be like a cell phone, for example, or, you know, I don't know. Um, I'm just thinking, for example, over here, I have a little doll. Okay. I have a doll. You guys can see this, right? So maybe this could be like my most valuable possession because maybe it's not, doesn't cost a lot of money, but maybe it has a sentimental value for me. Okay. And so I want you to uh, complete these sentences about the, that, possess, that um, possession you have. It was made in would be like the country that it was made. Um, and you, or you can also say like the year also, like it's also possible to say the year it was made in, right? So it was made in 2018, for example. Um, it was made by, this is the company that made it or the, um, or the person who made it, right? You know the person directly who made it. It was given to me by, so this is the person maybe that gave it to you as a present. If you received it as a present, it, this would be, like the name of the person, right? So it was given to me by um, Rosa, my best friend, or it was given to me by my mother, right? And it was bought in, would be like uh, the either the, the place you bought it, like um, a country or a city, right? So it was bought in Guatemala, for example, it was bought in the United States, or you can also say it was bought in a specific store, for example, it was bought in Siman. It was bought in, um, I don't know, it was bought in Radio Shack. Okay, whatever. I'm just giving you some examples, right? And it is made of, this is about the material that it's made from. So it could be like, it's made of plastic, and it's made of wood, it's made of metal, uh, anything, you know, whatever the, the, the material is. That's the same characteristic. Sorry? That's the same characteristic. I'm so sorry. I can't hear you very well. Could you repeat a, a little bit louder? Uh, that's the same characteristic. Um, that it has the same characteristic as what? Uh, you say it's metal. Uh, a specific form or a specific product when yeah. you make the product or the things. So, so the the material that the that the um, object is made from. Um, so it could be, for example, um, it could be a combination of materials too, right? Like um, it could be plastic and um, and metal. Or it can be, um, it can be, it can also be made of fabric, right, or of cloth, right. For example, this this um, this doll I have here, it's made of cloth, right, and it has a little bit of maybe plastic material. It so would be like plastic, right, um, but not very much. She has a little bit on her on her feet too, a little bit of plastic on her feet. Um, or, you know, any kind of material. It could be a combination of things, right? So, yeah, the characteristics of it. Okay. All right, good. Everybody's finished? Yes, sir. Yeah? Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is the following. Since you have already, you have the information about it, you're gonna be sharing that with your classmates, but we're not gonna do it as a class. We're not gonna do it all together. Instead, we're gonna break up into small groups. I'm gonna be assigning you a breakout room so that you are able to discuss and tell your, your classmates, you know, about this is my fit, this is my most valuable possession. And if you can, since you're at home, you can show, you can show the, the most valuable possession, right? You can say, okay, this is my most valuable possession. It was made in Panama 
it was made by blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, right? So you can show the, the product or sorry, the, the most valuable possession to your classmates, okay? Um, and I would also like you guys to ask questions, right? So don't just limit yourself to listening to your classmates. Okay, okay, now it's my turn. No, ask questions, you know, and okay, um, so, it, you know, ask questions about like, um, why is it so, why is it so special to you? How long have you had it? And things like that, right? You can ask all these different questions. You got it? Do we understand what we're going to be doing? Yes. Yes? It's clear? Yes, it's clear. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing right now and I'm going to get you to go into your breakout rooms. Let's see. Okay, remember the idea here is not just to say the information, but to ask questions as well, okay? All right, so here we go. I'm going to get you to go to your groups. Eduardo, do you have problems? Okay. Hello. Hello, teacher. Um, do you guys understand what we're gonna be doing? Yeah. Yeah, but I we are, we are here alone because Eduardo don't understand. Did you? Hi. Oh, hello, Eduardo. Can yes. you hear me? Yes, Eduardo, I can hear you. Yeah. I have a problem with my internet. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay, I understand. Okay. Uh, but right now, can you can you hear us? Can you do the exercise together with Lisette? Eduardo, are you able to do the exercise with Lisette? Yes, teacher, I understand the other side. Yeah, okay, all right. So go ahead and, and talk to, to Lisette about it. Uh, there was originally three people in this, in this um, group, right? Yeah, only two. Okay. 
Okay, so go ahead and, and talk to each other right now. Uh, I'm just pretend that I'm not here, okay? I'm just going to be okay. listening to you and seeing if I can help you. Hi, Eduardo. I can help you in something. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Hi, Eduardo. Hi. How are you? Hi, how are you? Fine, and you? How are you? Fine, thanks. Do you remember of me the, of the past level? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Nice to meet you. In my case, you live I here in Metapan. Too. You live here in Metapan too? Yes, I live in Metapan. In okay. Okay. Uh, for the exercise, I think about it uh, safety equipment. For example, I think about uh, say now. And for example, uh, I thought about face mask and the question is, um, it was made in US. There are a lot of products that, that was made in the US, but there are other products that was made in China. It was made by a different company, for example, 3M is most famous brand of the Sega. And it was given to me by my company, not white. Well, in my opinion, my daughter is not my, is, isn't my possession, but is the most valuable that I have in my life. But I have three dogs and they are amazing and they are my <laughs> most valuable possession right now. <laughs> and in my house to it, the same case of Saul, uh, because finally I am living alone obviously with my daughter and my dog, but I have a, a small place to live, but it's my own place to live. And I do whatever <laughs> I am want to do. And it's amazing living alone. <laughs> and what about you, Jessica? What is your most valuable position? Are you asking me? Of course. Oh. <laughs> You're in the activity room. <laughs> no, I'm here to listen to you. <laughs> okay, I have a I have a do that dubbed valuable. That's okay, the the pronunciation. Um yeah, valuable, correct. Valuable, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, valuable, yeah, correct. Everybody has already passed? Everybody has told their story? Yes. Um, did you ask questions? About the activity? Only the, the most valuable position, only this question. Um, uh, yeah, uh, the thing is that um, you need to be asking questions. Um, you need to ask questions to your classmates to get like more information, like, like a like kind of like a conversation, right? When you would normally um, in, are in um, like in a conversation, you would ask questions to continue the conversation, okay? Okay. okay, teacher. Okay. Um, I I don't stay a standard because uh, for the um, my um, um, yo yo no no le entendí. Le voy a decir en español porque no sé cómo. No le entendí si podía ser um, objetos 
o es o puede ser algo como por ejemplo mi vida mi casa mi trabajo o tienen que ser objetos no, en, eh, o pueden ser las dos cosas no it has to be an object because if it's if it says for example it's made in it's made by so like it would be está hecho en eh, o o es fue hecho en right? entonces so it has to be an object yeah Mm -hmm. It has to be an object. Yeah. I don't know. What would be my most? It's, it's más con object. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has to be with an object because you have to say thing what it what it's made of. Right? De qué está hecho? Quién se lo dio? O a dónde lo compró? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. All right, so thank continue you, asking teacher. questions. Uh, we're going to be closing it very soon, okay? But continue asking questions. I get it. Okay. I'm going to go with help the, another group, and I'll, if you guys need help, you can ask uh, me to okay. come back. Okay, thank you, Jessica. You're welcome. Well, I think uh, everybody needs to. Hi. Hi, teacher. Are you guys finished the exercise? Hi, teacher. Okay, I, I, I'm not sure exactly who was asking me. Somebody in this group was asking me about like why I'm not, I was not here. Uh, this is what we call a breakout room. It's like, I'm going to compare it like, um, imagine, that we have like the, the main room. Imagine we were in a, in a real classroom. So we have the main room where everybody is in. And then I send you to smaller groups to other rooms, okay? So that you can work with other people. So this is what we call a breakout room, okay? So I send you to another room so you can talk to people in, in the small groups. And then I ask you to come back to the main room. Does that make sense? Like we talk about uh, each a person, uh, for example, ask about itself, no? Okay, remember what I, I was asking you to do, right? To talk about, uh, to make sentences about your most valuable possession, right? Yeah? Um, for example, family. Um, in the material, uh, 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 yeah, of the station. Yeah, to give you an example. Okay, so imagine. Okay, so this is my cell phone. Okay, and imagine that this was my most valuable possession. Okay, then I would say, for example, um, I don't know. I would I would say something like, um, it was. It is okay. It was made um in china okay it was made by huawei in 2018 okay uh it was made sorry it was um it was given to me by my aunt okay? it was given to me by my aunt uh because uh she she wanted to give me a present okay so it was given to me by my aunt. And it's made of plastic and, um, and glass. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. And then your, the rest of your class, your, the, your classmates are going to be asking you questions to get more information. Okay. Okay. Sounds okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'll give you about one more minute and then I'll ask you to come, to come back to the main session. Okay? So the main room. Okay. All right. So I'll go and help the other, yeah. the other classmates. Yeah. We'll continue talking. Uh, I understand that you're saying that 
Sao ba con à mai bao bao mà à tính chị ta có cell phone à I would like to talk about computer for example uh, my computer is so useful for my class or communicate with my family friend uh, it's a uh, uh, compact rosario and the more of this rosario CPU for two um the price uh, was um, I don't remember but but metapang is very is pretty Draw me. Ah. Draw. 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 I not I I find a, a job. All right. Uh, do you guys have any questions right now? Do we understand what we're doing? You got a chance there to Omar, did you get a chance to um talk about your your valuable possession? Omar has problem with with his internet feature. Oh, okay, okay, I understand. Omar and Eduardo too. Both of them. Oh my, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's okay. I understand. It's the weather is not cooperating. I totally understand. Um, okay, well, yeah, do your best you can. And uh, I'm. Anyways, I'm gonna be. Come, we're gonna be going back to the main room in a moment. Okay. 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 Thank you. I'm actually going to sign you. Oops. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, continue. Continue. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, welcome back. All right, so did you have a chance there to talk about your most valuable possession? Yeah. Yeah, okay, and you had a chance to ask, right, as well. Remember with this, um, for some of you, I think it's this um, idea of breakout rooms is a little bit new. Um, some people were a little bit confused. So let me just explain what the breakout room is. Um, and I'll explain it like in Spanish so that it's like 100% clear, okay? Um, estos son, son, son salas pequeñas, lo que se están creando. Es como que cuando, digamos, si estuviéramos una clase presencial, eh, digamos que estuviéramos todos en, el mismo, en la misma eh, sala, ¿verdad? Y entonces digo, ok, fulanito, menganito y sutanito van a trabajar juntos y se van a ir a otra, eh, a otra sala. ¿Verdad? Entonces, en ese caso, eh, pues, um, 
eh, en ese caso sería, um, se, se irían a la, otra, a la otra sala a hablar y hacer su, um, su trabajo ahí en equipo. Y entonces después cuando terminen, regresan a la sala principal para que todos los grupos puedan estar juntos. Ok, so that's exactly the same idea with these breakout rooms, except that it's virtually, right? So instead of um, doing it, um, you know, physically going, moving to another room, we do it virtually. Okay, but it's the same idea. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any questions? No. No? Okay. All right. We just have a few more minutes left of class. So I just want to know that you guys do understand uh, uh, about using the the passive voice, uh, both in the in the present um, passive and the past passive, right? Because um, both of them, I mean, there are other types of passives, right? But um, in the most the, the most common ones that say are the ones that are the the um, the, the present passive and the past passive. Okay. So I'm going to just um, show you some sentences here that I want you to, I want to see if you understand um, the, how to make the present passive and so on, okay? So, um, okay, let me see. I'm gonna share here. Okay, let me know when you are, when you can see it. Can you see it or not yet? Yes, I can. Yeah, I can see it. You can see it? I can, I can watch. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so here we have, um, says, all right, so we have uh, three exercises there. And what I want you to do is I want you to decide what is the best um, option to complete this, the, the word in parentheses there, or in, in underline. So we have number one, in microbiology, the very small unit for cell measurements, the micrometer. So in here, are we going to say is calling, is called, being called, or called, which one? Uh, letter A. Sorry? Uh, letter A is called. Letter A? Uh, I, think I think it, letter B. I think it's B. Okay, all right. Let me explain to you to begin with, this one is actually gonna to have to be in the passive voice. And the reason is because the verb call, the, the, the cell measurement doesn't call itself, okay? No se llama ella misma, right? The cell measurement doesn't call itself. It, somebody calls the cell measurement. Does that make sense? So, yeah. la, so I'm gonna say, I'll, I'll say this in Spanish. Um, okay, the, 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 the small unit, la, la, unidad, la unidad pequeña, um, no, no, se, no se llama a sí misma, ¿verdad? No se llama a sí misma micrometer. En vez, alguien se la, le llama de esa forma, micrometer. Somebody play, say, uh, calls it, not the, the, the unit doesn't say, okay, I am going to be, this is my name. No, somebody calls it. So that's why we're going to be using the passive voice. In this case, it's going to be A, B, C, or D? B. Letter? B. Letter B. It would be letter B. Why? Because here we have the verb to be and the past, and the past participle of call is called. 
Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Number two. It is not well known that the fax machine. Mm -mm, before the telephone. So blank before the telephone. So was inventing, invented, was invented, or invents? Um, letter C. Was invented. Good. Letter C. Was invented. Okay. So here we have the verb to be in the past, was, and the past participle invent is invented. Okay. Or in, like in Spanish, right? Eh, la, la máquina de fax fue inventada antes del teléfono. Yeah, fue inventada. Okay. And letter C. Digital technology mm, developed at an extraordinary fast pace. So we're going to say bean is bean, bin or be. This one's actually a tricky one. This is a trick question. I'll tell you that much. And this one actually, we're going to, it's actually the answer is letter B. Okay. And the reason is because this is a form of the verb to be. This is the form of the present progressive. Okay. So something you also need to know is that we can also use the verb to be not only in the simple present or the simple past, we can use it in other forms as well. And one of the forms is in, the, for example, the present progressive or the present continuous. And the present continuous of B is this one, okay? And if you're asking about the past participle, it's right here, okay? So like in Spanish, I would say, la tecnología digital está siendo um, desarrollada eh, a un paso extra, extra. rápido. Está siendo desarrollado. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. 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 So the verb to be can be in any form. Just keep that in mind. It could be in the present, the past, in the progressive, in the perfect form, any form. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, that would be all for today. Um, incredible enough, our class is already over. So um, we're going to stop there today. Uh, and uh, we're gonna, I hope you guys will be able to finish um, section one. Tomorrow we're gonna be starting section two, okay? All right, guys, okay. so that will be all okay. for today. Uh, good to see you. you guys, keep safe um, and enjoy the weather. To, it'll, it'll be a nice to be able to sleep with this weather, <laughs> okay? All right, guys. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.